Welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. Out here at the uh, Buddy's Auto Salvage in Republic, Missouri. Just back behind Springfield Power Plant over there, as you can see in the background. Anyway, lots of Mopars out here, lots of Jeep XJs, Liberties, all kinds of stuff, lots of Dodge Rams, lots of uh, square body Dodge pickups, 80s. Uh, speaking of this, we've got this uh, 1992 Dodge Ram wagon. It's, a, it's a, a van. They've got two or three of these vans out here. And what we were originally attempting to do is look for a fourth generation Dodge Ram with the factory bucket seats and with the uh, back of the, the headrests that slide up and down. What we were going to do is we're going to take, uh, our original goal was to take the bottom half and do the measurements to see what needs to be done to bolt the bottom half of the seats to the floor of the 65 Valiant and then get rid of the uh, top part of the, the headrest and all that stuff and maybe have some uh, um, old like vinyl seat type covers custom made form or something like that to because they're pretty much the same as the low back bucket seats just they got modern fabric and stuff on them anyway come across this van and i want you to take a look at this we got this front bucket seat which it's kind of a high back kind of you know, well, it is from the factory, but what we're going to do is right where this crease is, the seam, we're going to take these home and we're going to come up through here and over the top and we're going to cut that off and we're going to take the padding and there's a bar that goes up in here. I'm going to go ahead and uh, cover this over uh, with some... Uh, spark slash flame resistant material of some sort to protect the seats and then we're going to cut the bar the tubing and re uh, channel the pipe that goes through here and then cover it over with uh, foam padding and then the vinyl and then my mom's going to go ahead and sew it up and we're going to make some low budget low back a body bucket seats for the valiant and this is what we did. Um, all we did is came in here into the van, uh, disconnected the four bolts from these uh, extensions boxes. And so the bottom half on these seats here have tracks that move back and forth so these seats will sit low, just like the factory bucket seats, low back bucket seats. Uh, found this uh, single end dual out um, Flowmaster muffler, but I thought I'd leave a little artwork there on the muffler. But uh, they they want uh, 40 bucks a piece for these seats, so we're definitely going to go ahead and take advantage of that and take these home. And like I said, it may not be 100% correct, but it works for us, so we can actually get the interior finished up and get some seats in there. And because uh, what's holding this up is. Uh, a little bit of the sheet metal work on the floor and then getting the padding and the carpet in and then we got to put the floor shifter in there and then we want to put some uh, seats in there for my mom since we're getting rid of the old shitty bench seat but uh anyway lots of magnums out here uh i don't know if that one vehicle still out here in the dakota or whatever it was or the durango that had the, the hemi in it i uh, found another um, late 70s, early 80s square body Dodge truck with a slant 6 in it. And there's a uh, Ram Charger out here with some odds and ends of parts and stuff. But anyway, our main goal today is get these bucket seats. This is going to be a part one. And I'll do a couple other parts to these this series of videos. Like where we decide where, how we're going to go about splitting the seat on the top me welding up the, uh, the 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 tube the tube framing inside the seat and then the finished product 
so uh, stay tuned for all that but anyway um, hope you enjoyed this video I know it's kind of short but uh, until next time